Since that fateful day, uh, that uh, day when the whole world celebrated with South Africa when Nelson Mandela was released from prison. Let's go to Cape Town now. Our colleague Vanessa Buna is standing by. Vanessa, what's happening where you are? Yes, good uh, morning to you still. Um, the reenactment uh, of Madiba's uh, long walk really out of uh, the Victor Vistaya prison then now of course the Darkenstein Correctional Facility uh, has indeed uh, begun and it's actually just ended uh, a mere meter or so from uh, the three meter high bronze statue of Madiba. We understand that a wreath laying ceremony uh, is due to take place uh, very very shortly and you'll see uh, on uh, the picture right there of course the wreath that will be laid um, in memory and in Honor of uh, the great former statesman, of course, commemorating his 30th uh, anniversary of his release from this facility, uh, uh, of course, on the 11th of February 1990. Mr. Valley, good morning to you. Morning. Of course, a, con a convention of the uh, original reception committee uh, this morning. Proceedings ended at the House just now. Um, and when I ask you, uh, in terms of the uh, relevance of today's uh, pr program, the relevance uh, of, of, of you who were part of receiving Madiba, of course, uh, how, how would you remember that day 30 years ago? I, I think the moment was so big that one of the things we heard today from the reception committee members is that the actual relevance took many, many years and decades to actually dawn upon us. It was a phenomenal event and something that one didn't understand clearly is the extent to which Nelson Mandela was in charge and providing leadership from the moment he walked out of prison. Mm. and. Uh, and that made it extremely momentous. Uh, uh. Thank you very much, of course, Mr. Valimosa. They're talking to us um, as we stand here at uh, the wreath laying ceremony. Uh, we'll just try and get you some pictures um, as the Minister of Art, Sports and Culture, Natyam Tetua, uh, makes his way to this three meter high bronze statue of Madiba, of course, with his right uh, fist lifted uh, in eternal memory of that day. Uh, 30 years ago, uh, Deputy Ministers uh, in, in, in this uh, government of Zwoll uh, laying wreaths here at the site. And of course, we do know uh, that this very uh, site, of course, has become one of the most iconic uh, in this uh, Winelands uh, uh, venue. Um, of course, people visiting with tour buses, etc., um, coming out all the way uh, to uh, have photos taken of uh, this uh, statue and, of course, just uh, in, in memory of Nelson Mandela and the great legacy he leaves, uh, not just uh, to people of South Africa, uh, but also, indeed, a global icon that he was and the Nelson Mandela Foundation Committee commemorating uh, this 30th uh, anniversary of his release, uh, starting this morning with a convention of uh, uh, members of the original uh, National Reception Committee here. Uh, they've had a convention talking about uh, not just their memories of that day, but also how they've managed to deal uh, with uh, their various experiences in the years leading up uh, to liberation and also post-liberation. And then, of course, there you'll see um, on your screen right now uh, that eternal image of uh, a great icon, uh, a man who has brought uh, the concept of humility, the man who's brought the concept of leadership, uh, not just to South Africa, but indeed to the continent uh, and the world as well, and uh, uh, pro high profile members of the public uh, as well from government. Uh, I, I've, we've seen uh, Mr. Trevor Manuel, former cabinet ministers uh, in uh, Nelson Mandela's cabinet, and of course preceding that uh, in uh, the cabinet um, of the government of national unity, also uh, present here today. Um, as well as attended uh, and a, a key speaker this morning, uh, the Minister of Correctional Services and Justice, Ronald Lamola. Uh, of course, uh, the wreath laying ceremony will conclude um, the events taking place here at the Darkenstein Correctional Facility and uh, from there um, to City Hall in Cape Town uh, where a, a dialogue session will be taking place a little later on this morning uh, and then eventually the, days, uh, uh, will, the day will culminate with a speech from President Cyril Ramaphosa uh, from the balcony where Madiba addressed uh, thousands and thousands of South Africans eager to have seen him uh, shortly after his release uh, from prison. Uh, it would be uh, the first time that he would speak publicly after 27 years of incarceration uh, and this of course the day uh, that has been set aside 30 years later uh, marking uh, not only three decades since his release from prison but also three decades 
since the start of democracy in South Africa, uh, three decades since uh, the unbanning of political um, 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 parties, uh, as well as, um, uh, of course, an end to a cruel and abusive apartheid regime. Uh, so the visuals we're bringing you right now is, of course, the ceremony taking place um, at uh, the statue of uh, former President Nelson Mandela. It's uh, probably the first thing you see when you drive into this correctional facility, um, and it stands here immortalized in bronze uh, in honor of the great man. All right, there you see there the towering figure of that statue uh, depicting the, uh, the former late President uh, Nelson Mandela. We're celebrating or marking 30 years since that uh, day uh, on the 11th of February uh, when he was released. And uh, Vanessa Puna there talking to Vali Musa, of course, a former cabinet member who then proceeded on to corporate, uh, taking very senior positions such as being the chairperson taking over from Royal Causa as the chairperson of ESCOM, uh, those days when ESCOM was doing really, really well and providing uh, energy to the country. And now let's uh, take a break.